Good evening. As a recovering attorney and art historian, I decided to put all those hats together and train first responders how to solve crimes and how to look at crime scenes and go out of their comfort zone by learning to analyze works of art. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. My program is not really about looking at art. You're not allowed to read the labels in the museums. It's about talking about what you see. It's not as easy as it sounds when you take a group of cops and tell them they have to look at a painting and tell, and tell them, what is it? My program's not about looking at crime scenes either. I don't go to crime scenes. I have a really weak stomach. But I work with them on cold murder cases, on counterterrorism efforts. How can we rethink what it is our jobs are by learning to look at works of art? It's about shifting your perspective. This is a self-portrait of J.R. who can't be photographed because he's considered a graffiti artist. So how do we rethink our perspective and rethink how we communicate what it is that we do for a living? So in these two pictures by Edward Hopper, we have two white women sitting alone looking down, each wearing hats with legs crossed. Did you notice the picture on the left? The woman only has one glove on. You're probably thinking, so what? Who cares? Small details solve crimes. If you can talk about the picture on the right, you can talk about scenes of everyday life. You can talk about crime scenes and learn to articulate them more effectively by learning to talk about works of art. Does it still sound so crazy? It works. I work for the FBI, the CIA, the Secret Service, and police departments across the country. I talk about things that make people squirm. Naked white ladies with breasts on their stomachs, smiling black children. I don't know what that is on the right. A man in curlers with a manicure and two happy Hasidic Jews. Now we're looking at two pictures. Most of you probably know that the picture on the right is by Picasso, but guess what? The one on the left is by Picasso too. Your perspective can change. It's even the same woman. Don't be afraid to change your perspective. And think about it by looking at art. Don't say before marriage and after. Think about how would you compare and contrast these two paintings. I force my participants to talk about difficult things. Sometimes no one wants to say the word obese on the bottom. When you look at these two sculptures, think about when you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. The picture on the left are prescription pill bottles. And what is it on the right? $32,000 worth of losing lottery tickets. The sculpture is called Chance City. Then I shift it to the real world. I make the cops and the FBI agents look at a real crime scene. What can you tell by looking at this photograph? Something bad went down. What is it? What does your gut tell you? Be able to articulate what it is that you're looking at. I ask my participants to write one sentence about this photograph. Do you know 50% of them omit the letter C? 50%. What if it's your homicide detective? OK. Then I ask one to look at the slide and describe it to his partner. How many people describe that there's a dining room table and chairs on top of the bridge? One FBI agent said, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't talk about it. That's not the way to handle terrorism and talking about what we see. I ask one person to describe to his partner what's in this slide. They talk about doors and panels and mail, sl and mail slots. 50% of the participants neglect to say there are no door handles. A door doesn't function without handles. So let's try it. How would you describe the next photograph that you're going to see? Think about how you would articulate one sentence to describe this photograph. Look carefully. Here it comes. <laughs> Look carefully. Soda bottles, beverages, supermarkets, shelves, color coordinated. There's a guy in the middle. Look at his feet. Do you see his feet in the center? Lou Bolin, there he is, a great contemporary artist. How many people miss that? Life and crime solving are in the details. It's not enough to look and observe. You have to be able to articulate what it is you're looking at. And art offers a phenomenal vehicle. If you had to come up with four words to describe this photograph, what would you say? Wires, poverty, stairs, urban, slum, ghetto. How many people forget to use the word painting? Art is everywhere. It's a fabulous vehicle to retrain, to rethink, to leave our environment. How about this guy? Don't say his wife kicked him out. You've got two clues. You've got Flash in the upper left and right-hand corners. You know what? When you think you're right, you're wrong. He's a sculpture. He's not real. 
He's by Dwayne Hansen. And this is my before and after, no abs here. The slide on the left, I want you to think about before my course. And after taking the art of perception, I want you to think, rethink the world around you into small visual components. How do you articulate them? How do you see them? How do you say them? Do your job more effectively. Thank you so much, Ignite. Thanks for having me.